Sometimes when you read in the Bible things that God did, these big events in the past, you go, man, I wish I could have seen that. One of those for me is in the Exodus. In chapter 13 of Exodus, verse 21, it says, And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud and to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, to go by the day and the night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. I read that and I think, man, what a time. Wouldn't it have been something to be able to see that? Well, we're going to experience something similar to that in the future, in the millennial kingdom of Christ, the time when Jesus rules and reigns here on this earth. Isaiah chapter 4 prophesies of this day. In verse 2, it says, In that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. Now, he's talking about the time after the Great Tribulation, after the, the war that takes place at Har Megiddo. And he says, And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. And the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night for upon all the glory shall be a defense. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge and for a covert from the storm and from rain. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? This is talking about the millennium. You can read about this in the book of Revelation. It's a, it's a time after Christ comes back and conquers his enemies that gather together <clears throat> to, to go to war against him as he returns to the city of Jerusalem. And after that happens, he's going to set up his kingdom in Jerusalem. He's going to reign for a thousand years. That's why we call that the millennium. And during that time, <laughs> it says that, that this is what's going to happen. The Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense. The people are going to witness visibly the glory, the Shekinah glory of God once again in Zion. It hasn't been that way for a long, long time, but it's going to be that way again in the future. You know, what do we do with that? Well, for one thing, we, we believe it. But for another thing, this is part of the, the incredible hope that we have. As we look around our war, world and we hear of wars and rumors of wars and we see tyrants and evil men taking control and we see the things that, that happen on a daily basis, we can take heart because we know, we know that ultimately Jesus is going to be victorious. And when he is, he's going to establish a kingdom and a rule that's going to be a rule of righteousness, the first one this world has ever seen. And it's going to be a time of great peace a time of prosperity, a time of agricultural blessing. The, the world is going to blossom and bloom, and, and it's just going to be an incredible time that's going to last for a thousand years. You and I, if we are followers of Jesus, if we believe in him, we have that to look forward to. It's a part of our, our blessed hope that, that Christ has given to us. And so I just want to encourage you this morning, as you read your Bible and you, you, you read about things like that, Make sure that you, you always remember, look back and see what God's done in the past and then look to the prophecy of scripture and just get excited about what God is going to do in the future. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.